All right, I know I left you guys hanging last week, but we are going to pick it up right now with the second half of New York Fashion Week. And then we are gonna go to Milan, where I am now. So hang tight, see you soon. Good morning. Renee is back in the building. Hi. And she's going to beat my face this morning because we have four shows to go to and we'll be done by seven o'clock, which is early bird special. So I gotta keep one eye open so I can see you. I am going to um, go to dinner with a friend around 7.30 and call it a night. And tomorrow is my day off because it's London's birthday party. But let's get this going. Hello, this is the final outcome of my hair. Check it out. We did blue in the back. We can get a better shot outside, but yeah, yes, but we it's such a vibe. Tied it because I'm wearing a little bit of color today. I do not feel the AC. Oh, is the seat warmers on? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think I put on deodorant, guys. I knew what I was thinking, but I know I didn't put it on. It's my bad. I've been using natural deodorant, and then I like forget, and then just go like no deodorant at all, and then now I'm just forgot. Okay, so we are going to Jason Wu. Um, check out this bag. First of all, it is not mine. It belongs to London. Uh, my friends at Dior sent her a birthday gift yesterday. And when I got home, she opened it and was like, look what everybody sent me from Dior. And I literally, my mouth dropped. I'm like, what type of life do you live? Like I was running around just trying to beg my parents to get me a lip smacker. Like <laughs> you got a Dior bag? <laughs> say what? She's like, say less. <laughs> So anyway, I'm borrowing my 11 year old daughter's purse. She doesn't know it yet. I didn't tell her because she told me I couldn't borrow it. I'm gonna wear it with this all black look. And neon is back by the way. I'm wearing these black padded Bottegas. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing when I get out because the outfit is very cute, you know? First show is at two, the next show is at three. The thing about these shows, they all start 26 to 28 minutes past the hour. I have gotten good at that. So if it starts that long, show's about maybe 10 minutes. It's gonna take us like 30, 40 minutes to get to the next show, so we might miss the next show, but we shall see. I will keep you posted on the um, anxiety. the show show was very beautiful guess who was there Sophia Steinberg hey Steinberg but the show was absolutely beautiful beautiful um, sequin pieces there were lots of tulle but tulle in a very feminine way uh, backless backless dresses lots of silk like very Jason Wood. silk tops uh, flowy beautiful pants that you can tell like the quality and then the functionality of the pieces were very beautiful there were some pieces that I was like, how is this model walking in this? Like, it is a very hard job, but the show was Speed stunning. Speed trap, reported ahead. There's trap, reported ahead. Okay, we're gonna change now, because we have to keep it moving. 
How long does it say till we get to the next place? 20 minutes. Hi. We're really getting dressed back here. Like, no shame in our game. Crawl out of my dressing room. <laughs> you said crawl. <laughs> getting out of my dressing room. I, wow, is, what a transformation. Wow, look at me. Ooh. Brand new outfit. And we're going to Victor Glumont. <laughs> Monochrome. We'll be there in 12 minutes. This is how fashion is done, guys. Skipping Halloween. Orange is the vibe. We are now on our way to the Victor Glumont show. I can't believe we made it on time. in the sun but wasn't about me right um okay so i wore this orange ensemble all by victor blumont except for the bag and it was their spring summer 2023 show so there were lots of bathing suits and you know we're rolling off this summer so i'm kind of thinking like i need to go back on holiday but that's not gonna happen because we're rolling into winter fashion can be confusing right because we're like one season ahead so there was like some cute swimsuit pieces and there were like some very nude pieces that you can put over your swimsuit but we are done with that and we are now off to Tibby so I'm gonna go back into my mobile dressing room and I'm going to change into that look and then we have one more show after that okay for any of you who are probably wondering why the hell do you change so much it's out of respect for the designer. If a designer offers to dress you, you wear their clothes to their show. It's just a respect thing. And also it's kind of a privilege for a designer to dress you. So we do what we have to do, you know? I personally love a mobile dressing room. Not everyone can be as fancy as me and have the luxury of having a mobile dressing room. But as you can see, it's super spacious. <laughs> Tons of room to change and like move my legs and arms all around. Super private. You get windows. Yeah, no one can see me through these windows whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. Ta-da! <laughs> I have to put on my blazer and my shoes, but so far this is what we're working with. Super luxurious. Putting it on with these amazing Gucci yellow shoes. They are the vibe, they are the moment, they are iconic, honey. We have a blazer, but we're gonna drape that on top of us like a super blogger. Okay, now I'm gonna go into glam. Hi, I am glam, Sai De Silva. I will be working on your glam today.
lots of monochrome suiting nice oversized jeans like they make really good oversized jeans oh bobby brown did the makeup and the makeup was very light bobby brown is known for a very light beat something that looks effortless something that looks very everyday soft browns on the eyes highlighting the cheekbones with bronzer kind of like giving that more sculpted look um hair which is kind of like pulled back more like anyone who had short Speed hair had trap. a bob. Right they had a lot of socks and sandals, but gladiator type shoes that were wrapped around the stocking. Oversized white dresses with pockets, I love pockets. Everything just looked very effortless and uh, very chic. A lot of things that I would actually wear. So that was Tibby. And now we are getting ready to go to our last show of the day, which is uh, Preval. And after that is dinner time. We gotta go back to your dressing room. I gotta go to my dressing room. I'll see you later because the dressing room is like, it's just my privacy time where no one can see me and you know, I get just to lay out and things like that. <laughs> Guess what? Yes, another change. Wait, you're stuck behind there. <laughs> we are on our last show of the night. It has been quite the day. After this, we are going to do real life stuff like eat dinner and then go home and hang out with our family. Um, it's been super fun. We're going to Probble now to go see some looks. So I'm gonna take you along with me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. different show from what he usually shows. I think he was trying to do something a little bit more edgy. Uh, I personally, the show was not for me. Um, it takes a lot to do shows and everyone is a critic, right? So I am not going to uh, bash him or anything. I just want to say the show was probably not my favorite from him. And I felt like things like they just weren't really ready for the show. However, I appreciate the art and the effort. There was a beautiful jumpsuit that I really, really loved. But that is it. This is a wrap on today. I am on my way to go meet my friend Valeria for dinner. And then I'm going home to hang out with the kids. And tomorrow is my day off from shows. But I do have to shoot and leave my house at eight o'clock in the morning with the kids because you know, we gotta shoot partnerships. This is who feeds us and keeps this cable network going. Uh, Scout network, network, network Scout. What are we naming our cable network? <laughs> but that's it. I'm gonna sign off for today. I'll see you guys later.
element. Yeah, to give it some texture yeah. and make mm -hmm. it look cool. Because I'm, yeah. cool, I'm the cool girl on the scene. The glam is like, <laughs> glam yeah. is super important. Yeah, me too. That's my whole life. <laughs> okay, okay. So I get it. <laughs> All right, that's fun. That's fun, right? I think yeah. that'll transition lovely. Good morning. We are getting ready for Carolina Herrera. I woke up at 5.30, took a shower. I took a shower last night and this morning. I feel like I cannot start my day without taking a shower in the morning because I just can't wake up. But um, yeah, we only, have, we only have a few shows and some parties and we're gonna call it a day. Sorry, I don't have a lot of personality this morning. This is like very dry eye right now, but I'll see you soon. Turn, turn, turn. The hair is so good today. Yep, glam. This the hair is um, Cindy Lou from Dr. Seuss, it's where I pull my inspo from. Carolina Herrera. The show was lit, litty. It was, it was a good show. It was like very much so about the blooming of spring, tons of blooms, and you saw it all in the clothes. Gorgeous collection for spring. There was, oh, guess who was there? Sophia. Sophia was there, um, Steinberg. And when you see the collection, you know what I'm talking about as far as the florals. I know florals for spring is groundbreaking, but he does it in such a beautiful, elevated and classy way. Elements of chiffon, um, just looking very feminine, a dropped, like very low back line um, to accent those like shoulder and the clavicle, just like a beautiful collection. I also sat across from Carolina Herrera herself don't know how I got there but I took it it was a moment and I want to say thank you so much for sitting me there that was amazing um now I'm getting ready to get out of Carolina Herrera and we're gonna go to Veronica Beard there is tons of traffic I'm not sure how this is going to work and how we're gonna get there but we've been creating magic um, lately by getting from place to place in this mobile dressing room so let's get the party going Fashion. <laughs>
contemporary. It was very Veronica Beard. Very on brand. Very cute styling. And now we're off to go do some shooting. So let's go shoot. was there um we are we're not really between shows we just finished two shows there is cocktail party and then there's another party this evening i'm going to skip the cocktails because we have to pack to get ready for paris and i also need to eat and i'm just gonna kind of just chill until seven o'clock tonight when i go to the dinner um so that's what we are doing today right right okay see you soon we're home you ate I ate and I'm so just out. We got a job, Ussie. We got a job in Paris. It shoots Wednesday. Today is Monday. However, I'm going to stay because I have to be there for Fashion Week anyways. Paris Fashion Week does not start until the 26th of September. This Wednesday is the 14th. However, I'm gonna do Milan first. Milan, I need to be there on the 20th. So I'm gonna do the job. If I leave the 14th, I land the morning of the 15th. The job shoots the 16th, I am off the 17th and the 18th, right? Mm-hmm. I'll be off the 17th and 18th and the 19th. Yes. I'll have three days off. So I was thinking, should I come back to New York? But it makes zero sense. Just like take the three days off in Paris to catch up on emails, find clothes. I don't have any clothes to wear um, for these shows. Like do pulls from designers. I'm just gonna basically pack only shoes, any accessories, jewelry I have, and makeup. So if I can get like all my looks, my mood board, and everything, and have those three days to myself, fly to Milan from Paris, kick off Milan Fashion Week, fly back to Paris. So I'm trying to now get a different flight because the flights that I did book, I need to cancel because the brand is now flying me out and I need to rebook for the middle. It, it sounds like a hot mess. Like I feel like I'm like confusing everybody. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I need to find a hotel in Paris for three days. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I just finished eating. And then around six o'clock, I'm gonna get ready to go to this party. So I got three hours, three whole hours. <laughs>
Taylor show. Hello. What day is it? Tuesday. Honestly, when you work straight through the weekend, it feels like it just feels like Friday. Like at this point, it feels like Friday. So this is my glam today. Sorry, my um, amazing, amazing housekeepers are here and they're vacuuming the floor. And I just feel like maybe I should pause, right? You know what? We're gonna go in the bathroom. Girl gotta go. Yes, look at this light. Okay, here's the glam for today. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Okay, I got, I'm sorry, but my blinds are broken and I gotta hold them. Here we go. Can you see this? Can you see me now? It's so cute. So Renee did my makeup and Navasha did my hair. And then today we went to Gabrielle Hurst show, which was a gorgeous, gorgeous show. I love that they use real women mixed with traditional models. I brought you back over here with the, I was gonna say the blow dryer, but the vacuum is back on. It was a really nice show. Look at all this stuff. Like it should give you anxiety. It's just like unboxing everything. We have to recycle and break everything down. But guess what? I have a little bit of a break and I have got to start packing because we leave tomorrow. Um, but real quick, let me show you my outfit. Okay, again, <laughs> we need to break this down because this needs to be recycled. But this is what I wore today, an all denim outfit. And then I wore some St. Laurent's, which I don't have on right now, but I think overall it's a really cute look. The girl has gotta go, we got to go. fashion week and oh how I wish the season was over but now we're gonna pack our bags and we're gonna leave tonight and we're going to Paris selling. Are you bringing us? <laughs> <laughs> that was a serious question. I mean, I'm go, bringing her. She's coming. Look Paris, but we'll run away. Yeah we can go ahead and snatch her right on up. Pose right here for me? Oh yeah that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 That's the post. No, no, no. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. So cute, so cheap. Okay. Yeah. Time for me to get dressed, dollies. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy it. Let me try and stick my yeah, boots enjoy it. into this top. Let's see what I can do. Oh. Make sure I can help you get into this top in a second. <laughs> okay. This is the glamorous life. Okay. This top action does not fit me. That's just not made for the girls with the boobs. We're going like this in the Uber because we can't sit. And we're just going to do this one again. We're going to say, good day, sir. Good day. Wow. <laughs> tequila i got the salt i got the jigger the bar spoon everything i probably think i can get two margaritas out of here your girl is gonna have some drinks because it has been oh three minutes a long freaking week and now we are out we are leaving 
It's gonna look like I live in Europe because I'm gonna be there for so long. But I'm showered, I'm ready for a flight. My face is nice and greasy, hydrated. I have some eye drops. We got our uptowns, we're golden. <laughs> All right guys, I hope that you love this New York Fashion Week video. I'm popping back up again. Next video is going to be all about Milan Fashion Week, so stay tuned. If you are new here, please make sure that you subscribe because I am a vibe. Leave a comment down below, tell me what was your favorite part about this video, and I will see you next week. Deuces.